Hiya, uh, welcome to a beach in Greece. <laughs> yeah, another little lovely place that we've found. Um, there's, Charlie loves beaches, he can't get enough of it. He goes crazy when we pull up at a beach and we must have seen, I don't know, hundreds of them now. We've been around Europe a couple of times. Um, we've been over to um, North Africa twice. So we've had a look at the Muslim world. We've been on the road for about 19 months now. We've, we've worked out. Um, and uh, we're sort of sort of on our way back to the UK. There you go, Charlie. So we've got about three or four months left on the road before we've finished our second year. Um, and we've got to, uh, we're got to we going to take in a bit more of Greece. So just around the corner from here is the ancient ruins of Delphi with the old oracle. Um, and then further on we'll be coming down into Athens for a couple of days to go and have a look at that. Then we're going to head north. We're going to have a look at Albania and Romania and Bulgaria. Not necessarily in that order. And then make our way back home. Checking the old bank balance every now and again, at least Julie is behind the camera. Um, and because we've got rental income from, uh, from our house back in the UK, we've actually got enough cash to probably do another year. Which is a bit tempting because this is just such a lovely life. It's so wonderful. The freedom, the sense of freedom, the people that you meet, the things you see, um, different cultures, you know, all the usual things that you get from travel, we're, we're getting it all. Uh, but the, we have the feeling that the longer we are away, the harder it will be to slot back into uh, sort of mainstream British culture, if you like. And what I guess I mean by that is getting back into a job and doing some work for a change. We haven't done a huge amount of work while we've been travelling, a few, a few weeks, but that's all. Um, so two years is probably long enough really, but what we want to do is go back and uh, build up some cash, or get some cash in the bank, because ours is getting a little bit empty, so that we can continue to travel in the future. We, never, we don't know what's going to happen to ourselves. We're, we've both turned 40 now, so we've still got plenty of life left in us, uh, hopefully, touch wood. Um, and we want to gear up so that we'll be able to do some, some more traveling as we, uh, as we get older. So I think that's it. So yeah, so how do we feel about going back? Well, I can, I'm not really massively excited about it, to be honest. Um, I'm looking forward to seeing all our friends and family but I think after a month or so, you know, the sort of euphoria of all that will be will die down and we'll be back down into normality then. Um, and I don't know really how well we'll cope with that. I think we'll be fine. I think we'll be OK. Uh, a lot of people have said to us that they expect us to find it hard, but we've, we've sort of we've coped with the, the change of having lots of material things and a big house and lots of cash to not really having any of that stuff okay so I think we'll cope the other way around I think we'll be absolutely fine so uh, so yeah so here's the next here's the next I'm being told to shut up now here's, <laughs> here's the next three months bring it on so if you're following us on our blog ourtour.co.uk thanks very much and keep following us we'll keep writing about what happens over the next few months and uh, hopefully you find it interesting bye bye <laughs>